gonna work for us. Okay, <clears throat> okay, that is now tapped for an M6 helicoil. I'm not going to fit the helicoil though until after the powder coating because I don't want to have to re tap a helicoil. So I'm going to leave that for now, re tap that when it comes back from powder coating, and um, then we can remount the, uh, the bracket. It's a bit of a fight, it's taken me about an hour to do that, all told, maybe even longer. careful with these rubbers because they're a little bit fragile, a bit hard. Yeah. Alright, I just need a bit of cajoling. It's only been off for a long time, if ever. months back um, I managed to break the frame with my fat ass while um, doing an off-road mammoth session um, I think it was a previous repair that was done badly uh, a friend of mine um, put an insert in here and welded most of the way around but he couldn't quite reach the back of the frame so I'm going to ask him to just finish that off and then grind that flush for me something else I have to do before it goes off the powder coating is um, removal of the um, VIN number the VIN plate um, and to do that I have to carefully drill out these two rivets. And I'm finding a flat top on top of the rivet so I can get the hole punt, the um, centre punch on it. Hopefully we can find the centre of the rivet and then... Now I thought these were brass but they feel like steel. This side, the rivet head came off cleanly. This side, I'm slightly off center. I'm in danger of drilling into the um, aluminium. So I'm just gonna see if I can just lever it off at an angle. Let's see if we can walk it off. There we go. Lovely. So there's a lot of uh, crap built up underneath there. And I suspect that is the original paintwork. Oh, it's nice and glossy. At the point now where I need to punch through what remains of the um, the rivets, um, I don't have anything quite small enough to go down there. So, much against my better judgment, I'm going to use this one mil drill bit and see if I can tap it through. The reason I've taped it is so the drill bit doesn't actually fall into the frame. There's a good chance it might break. That oh, that oh. <laughs> that was way too easy. That one literally fell through. 
do my screwdriver in again. This one of course has not been quite so cooperative. Yeah, it's not doing the screwdriver any good. <laughs> Why is it one works and the other doesn't? This is not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That works. You can see the holes left behind. These are, um, I th they're like screw threaded rivets. When you tap them, apparently they cut a thread into the hole. Okay, time for Bodgematic 3 million. Uh, my brass rod obviously isn't long enough, so I've had to uh, extend it using a socket and um, and uh, an extension bar. I just hope that gives me. This is going to be easy. Is it? Oh, it's moving. So to make sure there's no shims on it or anything like that, otherwise, otherwise they could pop out. So we get the top lip. Let's move it in right in the wrong place there. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> Nearly killed you. That's the bottom one. No, they are different. The top race is uh, smaller, it's narrower in its width. The bottom one is wider. I notice that the kickstand's very weeble wobbly. Um, it looks like this angle here has opened up, splayed open a bit. So I may just see if I can uh, beat on that and just get it some sort of less weeble wobbly. So I'm gonna start with a block of wood and a, and a mallet and work my way up in violence. Oh, that's better. You can't see that, can you? Can you see that? It's a little bit of weeble. Um, I think we could probably just close that up a little bit more without breaking it. Oh, it's getting better. Much better. Much better. It's pretty much parallel. I don't want to push it too far. I think it's got to be a little bit of wiggle in it. I'll do. Uh, previously I mentioned about this rubber being trapped in its holder. Um, all this is a little bit mangled and out of shape. And the worst bit is this bit which is impinging on the rubber. Um, so somehow I've got to get that bent straight but without chewing the rubber to pieces. So I'm going to have a fettle with that. Okay, so good news. After much sweating and swearing, I've managed to get it out. And now with the, the application of a little bit of lubricant, it does slide in and out, which is good. So that's a nice sliding fit. Well, that's me done for another afternoon. Um, the frame is now ready for a little bit of welding, a little bit of grinding, and then it's uh, off to the powder coaters. Um, I have to go through all the bits and pieces while this frames away being sorted um, to work out exactly what is going to be powder coated and what isn't um, but I'm thinking of going for a satin finish rather than a high gloss finish although I'm not entirely certain if that's the case 
Anyway, I'll have a think about it. That's me done for another day.